change. right this minute. But you might not think so. Your street looks the same as it always looked. The park is always in the same place. And mountains look like they've been here forever. But they haven't been here forever. They were created by all kinds of forces. Sometimes these forces can make the Earth change quickly. Very quickly. And then there are changes that happen more slowly. To demonstrate, we need something like this. It's a model for part of the Earth. We want to explore a slow process, how wind can change the Earth. If you give it enough time. Many Earth changes are so slow, you can't see them. They take thousands of years. But with this wind source, we can speed this up and show the effects of thousands of years of wind. Watch what happens. Here we go. The wind is carving out a hole and making a mound of stuff behind the hole. This looks like a real landscape. It's got a valley and hills. But this is happening in just a few seconds. Imagine the Earth changing over millions of years. We are going to take a trip. Not in space, but in time. Faster and faster until we've moved one billion years into the future. As we begin our journey, things look pretty much as we always see them. But watch what happens as we speed up a little. A minute goes by. Then an hour. Faster. Now we see the tide fall in the river. Nighttime. Day breaks. 
now a month is passing. The moon changes phases. Spring approaches. We're now going about four days every second. Spring changes to summer and into fall. Now the first snow comes. It's New Year's Eve. Winter goes by in an instant. Even the seasons flicker by. Now the years. Ten years. The town becomes a city. One hundred years. A flood washes away the riverfront. New land is built by the river from gravel it carries down from the mountains. One thousand years. Cities rise and fall. Ten thousand years. A thousand years a second. Ten thousand years a second. The ocean draws back and the mountains begin to frost again. An ice age spreads across the land. One hundred thousand years. The glaciers melt. One million years. The river carves another valley. Ten million years. The earth pushes up new mountains again. One hundred million years. The same forces push the continents apart. One billion years. Ready, Stephanie? All set. Wind isn't the only force that changes the Earth over time. Water can change it, too. See? It's carving out a riverbed. The water is eroding the Earth, eating away the soil and carrying it downstream. After maybe a million years, water has made a deep canyon. But during that time, other things have been at work, too. Plants have dug their roots down into the sides of the canyon, loosening dirt and rocks. Animals have burrowed tunnels. There have been landslides. Yeah. Do you know what this reminds me of? Let me guess. The Grand Canyon. Pilot Ken Bauer has promised me the ride of a lifetime. Our destination, the Grand Canyon. the canyon, my friend Jackie explores it with environmentalist Carolyn Evans. Now this is 10 miles from here to the other side. Whoa. It's okay, you can come out. How far up are we? We're a mile up. A yeah. mi vertical mile above the river. Wow. Yeah. The Colorado River did all this? Sure did. You can see it right down there. It's really way down there. Very muddy. Yeah, and it doesn't look very wide either, but no. it's as wide as a football field is long. Really? Yeah. Why is it the canyon so wide at one point, and then by the river it seems to be coming to a V? Well, actually, the river didn't carve the width of the canyon. What's carved the width of the canyon has been erosion and water running off the sides, off the rocks, and carrying rocks and mud and dirt all down to the river. So the river's not really responsible for carving the width of the canyon, just the depth. Actually, the river probably only cut a canyon in here probably as wide as this inner gorge. As the, uh, you got up above that, most of the limestone was eroded back by wind and rain to cause that big wide width. We think that the river has only been here for the last about two to six million years. So the river is really very young compared to the rock that we're standing on. Now you said the ocean. There was an ocean covering all this? Yeah, as a, a matter of fact, there were several oceans that covered this area. <laughs> several? How uh -huh. many? We think there were seven oceans. Mm, but you, there, this also was a desert. And there was a time when this area was a desert, too. A lot of different environments have been here 
in Earth time, in the past, in Earth's history. About six million years ago, only yesterday in Earth's long history, the Colorado River began to cut a path for itself. The river cut deeper and deeper into the land. Now, the Grand Canyon is a mile deep, and the water is still at work. Would you like to do something really exciting? Yeah, what? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drop down here into the bottom of Granite Gorge. Oh no! And I'm gonna give you a look at the bottom of the canyon, just above the river. Okay, okay. okay. Here we go. The farther we go down into the, pan the canyon, the farther back that we go into into time. Now we're dropping way down in time here. We're almost two billion years back in, in the Earth's history as we drop down into here. We're going to skim just right over the water down through the bottom of Granite Gorge here. Very few people get to see it from this angle. It really does feel like a magic carpet. When you get close to the water, you can see the river's power. is muddy because it is filled with soil that has eroded from the sides as well as earth that the river's force has dredged from the bottom. The Colorado River is still hard at work. Just as it has been for millions of years, water is carving the land. Ago, there might have been an ocean where you live or a huge mountain but things change and change never changes it just keeps on coming the earth is constantly changing some changes happen quickly and suddenly change the surface of the earth other changes happen very slowly, sometimes taking millions of years. Wind makes change, and so does water. Given enough time, they can carve enormous holes in the land, like the Grand Canyon. Three to one classroom contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.